morning, people. So one of the things that people often ask or get worried about or, or frustrated with is that they'll try and take their puppy or their young dog, if they haven't been walked on a leash, they'll put them on a leash and their puppy or dog immediately starts playing with the leash, like often like it's a tug of war toy. Um, and Peanut does that. Peanut is a year old, but he hasn't, you know, been on a leash a whole lot that I know of. Um, and so you can see, typically I put it on him. The first thing he does is say, let's play, let's play, let's play. This is, this is worse when your puppy is in the house. And that's because there's no distraction. When your puppy does this, the only time you really need to worry about it and act on it is if you have a big puppy and they can chew through the leash very quickly. In which case, I would go get one of those thick leashes, or that, that rope, um, because it takes them longer to chew through that. Do not get a leather leash. They'll go through that in like two bites. When you have a little puppy or dog like this, you just ignore the behavior. What's happening is that they think maybe it's a toy. They're not used to you putting something on them. Um, or if Peanut has gone for a lot of walks, he's used to somebody putting a leash on him and it being a toy. And what most people do is they start trying to like take it out of the dog's mouth or pull it free. And the dog goes, cool, now we're playing tug of war. Now we're playing a game. This is awesome. And then they learn to always do that with their leash. So when your dog is little and you're not overly concerned about them biting through the leash, you just ignore it. Because eventually, if you ignore it, your dog is gonna be like, oh, this isn't really any fun. Much like he's doing now. So he was on leash in the house for several hours over the course of the day yesterday, sort of off and on. And then frequently, I'm just keeping him here so you can see. <laughs> Yay, my floor isn't sliding. Um, and, and then, Occasionally I would drop it and he would just drag it around. I'm using it for some control so that if he goes wandering and I need him, I'm too tired to get up and start following him again. I can bring him back and hang on to his leash for a little while. But then if I'm like, no, you know what? He's been good. I'm gonna let him wander for a little while. I can just drop the leash, he drags it around. After doing that for several hours yesterday, today he's still interested in the leash, but he's not like obsessed by it and he's not, um, refusing to let it go. And all I did, I would hang on to the handle. So if he got to the end of it, he did pull, like tug of war pull. Um, and I just ignored that too. And because I wasn't pulling back particularly, I wasn't arguing with him about it. He wasn't getting a reaction from me. He's decided that other things are more fun, like eating crumbs off the floor. I had no idea my floor was so dirty, people. You swallowed it. Oh, puppy. Um, so if you have a dog or a puppy and they're chewing on their leash and you're worried they could bite through it, go get a fat leash and then ignore it as much as possible. If you have a small dog and they're chewing on it and you're worried they're going to bite through it, they're not. It would take a lot of work. <laughs> Peanut. Oh my goodness. Um, so ignore the behavior and it will generally go away pretty quick. It will especially go away if you put the leash on them and take them outside for a walk because that gives them some distractions. On the other hand, if you put a leash on them and you have them in the house, because there aren't any distractions, they're gonna figure out pretty quick that when they trot to the end of the leash and, and they hit it and it pulls on them, not in a fun tug of war way, it pulls on their collar, on their harness, they're gonna go, oh, that's not comfortable. And they're far more likely to back off that pressure. So it sort of helps teach them some uh, no pulling techniques if they're in the house. That way they're not overly distracted. This might not work if you have children running around. Um, ha baby, yeah. Uh, if you take them outside, it will stop them from chewing on the leash faster because they're distracted by other things. But they won't automatically sort of figure out, oh, I shouldn't pull on it, it's not comfortable because they're distracted by other things. So there's your tip for the day. Okay. Oh, with the pie. Yeah.